in this lesson, I'll show you how to create playlists. Now, there are two ways to manage your music library. First is by using an app like iTunes, and second is through bypassing iTunes altogether and just using Serato DJ Lite on its own. Some DJs prefer using iTunes because they're already using the app to organize their music and they've got playlists in it even before they started DJing, so they use it. Some DJs prefer to bypass iTunes and just work within Serato DJ. You can choose whichever you like, though there are some advantages to using iTunes, which we'll go through in this lesson. So if you're still undecided at this point, I recommend that you watch this and follow along. The reason for creating playlists is you'll want quick and easy access to the music that you're likely to play. Having them in a playlist means you can just scroll through them instead of having to go through your entire iTunes or Serato DJ library just to find that one track that you want to drop next. It makes a track easier to find and sort, and that means you're more likely to play that track at your DJ set. So to make a playlist, all you have to do is go to File, New, Playlist. iTunes will create an empty playlist for you over here at the bottom. So I'm going to name this Joey's House. You can go rename it to anything that you want. There we are. So we've got an empty playlist over here. Now, let's try adding some tunes. Let's say I want to add the songs that I just recently added into my iTunes library. All I got to do is to click and hold the Shift button while clicking on the last song that I want to add. So that automatically highlights all six of these tracks. Then I'm going to scroll down over to my Joey's House playlist so it shows up here in the browser. I'm going to click on the tracks and I'm going to drag them over onto the playlist. If I click on it, I'm going to find all six of the tracks there. That's it. Okay, now in Serato DJ Lite, you can do the same thing. This time, playlists are called crates. It's helpful to use crates when you'd rather prepare your music in Serato DJ Lite. Right, so here we are. We've got Serato DJ Lite. Open, and if I want to add crate, all I got to do is to click on the crate icon over here. You'll find the crate added at the bottom of the browser over here on the left. So let's rename this. Just double click on the crate. There we go. And then now let's add tracks to it. So I'm going to scroll back up to my iTunes library and let's find those six songs again. Say, I think it's this one, this. Here we are. So I got six of them highlighted. Click and cool. So I've got all six songs now in this crate. Now you can go and create as many playlists as you want, and eventually you'll find that some playlists can be grouped together. Say, playlists for a particular event, like a friend's birthday maybe a house party you're throwing, or even a bar gig. Instead of cluttering your playlist tree, you can create a playlist folder or a crate folder that will store all of those playlists or crates. So let's say that I've got two more crates here. Um, let's add a bunch more. Let's call it Joey's Deep House. Another one. Joey's Tech House. Cool. Now let's say I've got some tunes in them already and I want to play those songs at my next show. Let's say I'm playing for a crowd that's pretty versatile and would love to hear me jumping out of genres. So I can now group them into a create folder. To do that, all I need to do in Serato DJ Lite is to create a new crate. Clicking on this icon. There we are. I'm going to rename this. I'll call it Joey's Gig. And then I can just drag these crates over onto this crate over here. It'll become a sub crate of sorts. So I'm just going to left click, hold, and drag it. There we are. So as you can see, this crate gets indented just to signify that it is within the Joey's Gig crate folder. Do that for the others here. Cool. So now I've got all my crates under this crate folder, and I can collapse this if I like, just to save on space. I can expand it. Uh, just so I can see more of it if I want to. And, well, that's the power of like organizing stuff 
or your playlist or your crates within the crate folder. Now let's try that for iTunes. Just gonna minimize Serato DJ Lite here. Two more crates in here. Joey's Deep House and call this one Joey's Tech. Cool. So now I'm gonna go to File, New, and I'm gonna choose Playlist Folder. That's gonna make a new Playlist Folder over here, which I can rename to Joey's Gig. And I can highlight, pick out the Playlist, and drop them over onto the folder. I just showed you how to create playlists in iTunes and in Serato DJ Lite. Now, I want you to create a playlist using either iTunes or a crate in Serato DJ Lite. It's up to you, whichever you prefer. And I want you to put some songs in it. In the next lesson, I'll show you some of my favorite online stores for buying music. So I'll see you then.